In this tutorial, we will see how to do three simple image processing tasks. The first is a simulation of ProMist or similar style filters. First, we create a mask of the highlights. To help us to do this, we export the generated mask and view the alpha channel. Once the highlights are selected, we can blur them. The geometry of the mask will expand. This is the blur radius that will be the filter dispersion area. Now we return to normal viewing mode. A common mistake is to enhance the brightness of the highlights, which would result in eliminating all detail in white. This also happens with many plugins for creating glow. This does not happen with a real ProMist filter. However, if we enhance the low lights, we will produce the desired effect without causing loss of detail. We can vary the size of the dispersion from the blur radius applied to the generated mask. This process can also be used to counteract the camera filter or dispersion of light resulting from humidity in the atmosphere. We reduce and blur the highlights, and instead of increasing the intensity of the low lights, we reduce them. Controlling the settings of the generated mask and the radius of the blur, we try to capture the original flare in order to eliminate it. In this other image, we can see an original camera flare, and we will remove it using this method. The strong backlight from the window invades the geometries of the foreground. Adjusting the mask and the intensity parameters of the low lights, we can reduce the natural glow effect without affecting the original image. Another image processing task is reducing detail enhancement. Many digital cameras have a detail parameter which really just applies a sharpen filter which we simulate with an effect. Sharpen selectively increases contrast in high spatial frequencies. This gives a sense of greater clarity. We group the sharpen effect to the original clip, supposing that this image originally had a detail enhancement applied from the camera parameters. This type of enhancement is characteristic of older formats of video. To remove it, use Enhance. We set the amplitude parameter at 0 and the RAD H parameter to a value between 0 and 1. This parameter defines the amount of high frequency we want to modify, which in this case is very small. Now we reduce the amplitude to negative values. This will decrease the contrast of the high frequencies. By adjusting RAD H and amplitude, we can modify this decrease of the high frequency enhancement, returning the original contrast to the image and giving it a better overall contrast setting. This is an ideal process for reducing the ringing artifact. 